Good morning, everyone. Uh, during these uncertain times, it's good to be with you so that we can reflect on the word of the Lord as he speaks to our hearts and helps to calm our fears. Today, this Sunday, we journey with the Lord back to Bethany for a tremendously dramatic story. In most stories, we have a beginning, a middle, and an end. But what I'd like to do with you this morning is start at the end. We know what the story is. Jesus goes to Bethany. He's confronted by Martha. Martha takes him uh, to the tomb. Lazarus had been in the tomb already for four days. And then what does Jesus do? He miraculously says, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus comes out. I want to start with that coming out. The fact that Jesus called forth Lazarus from the tomb. What does that mean for us? What, it's, what it means is when he said, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, bound head and feet with linen strips, his face wrapped in cloth. Untie him, Jesus said, and let him go free. The power of the Son of God is evident in the rising of Lazarus. Jesus has the power over life and death. Jesus has a power for us. And what happens when he calls forth Lazarus? There is a sign, let him go free. The person of Jesus frees us from the ties of death. Death, which is man's mortal enemy. Now we're freed from that tie. We're able to live because we know we live fully in Christ. So we start at the end and now we go back to the middle. And what happens in the middle? What happens in the middle is Martha takes Jesus to the tomb. Everybody looks at Jesus and they say, oh my gosh, look, here is the friend of Martha and Mary and the deep and close friend of Lazarus. And when Jesus saw all those concerned and caring about Lazarus all around him, there is three profound words that come right of, out of Scripture. And Jesus wept. Think about that. This is the Son of God. He weeps. And what does this demonstrate to us? That Jesus is one with us. He joins us in all the activities of our life and the emotions that we have in life. He's one with us. He feels our pain, our sorrow, our anxiety. He's one with us. When we pray, what do we pray? We pray, I believe. We believe that Jesus Christ is true God, the power over life and death, the Son of God, and true man. He's one with us. He knows what we go through. He knows our anxieties. And at this time, this is so important. But now we start at the beginning. The beginning with Martha standing for us, confronting Jesus. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know whatever you ask of him, he will do for you. Martha, your brother will live, he says. I know he'll live in the resurrection the last day. And Jesus pronounces, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will not die. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. And then the profound finger is pointed through Martha to all of us. Do you believe this? Do you believe? I'm a believer. I know my trust and my confidence is in Christ and our Lord Jesus Christ at this time. For we have to admit and we know that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. With him, nothing is lost and all is made whole. Thank you for listening to this reflection. And I ask you to join us again Again, here, um, uh, listening to the various bishops who have their reflection for you, helping us to stay together during these times.